What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number three of Building the Line. This is episode three, part one. Um, there was a week that I was absent because I had to work, so this is actually skipping a week, but we get into that just a little bit in the video to see what went on, what we missed, and uh, kind of see where the kids are at right now. And if you haven't been watching this, I'm going to encourage you to go back and check out the first video because you're going to hear some stuff and you're, you're going to hear already, even though this is their fourth week, third week of recording, fourth week of, you know, marching drumline conditioning, that these kids are getting more and more confident. They're playing out. They're exploring the instruments a lot more than they were previously. You know, when they first started, they were so timid and was like pulling teeth to to get them to play loud. And now they're like, OK, we're doing this. Let's go. And, you know, they're they're doing some improv stuff on their own. You'll see in the very beginning, um, you're going to notice a lot of playing while I'm trying to speak. And you're probably going to wonder, why are you letting that go on? Well, for me especially where they're brand new to all this they're you know they're they're learning they're exploring exploring the instruments like i just said and you know this is this is no pressure yeah we're trying to get them started but building that confidence is the first step first step and they're gaining that confidence and if they're going to explore the instruments while we're trying to get some work done i'm not going to stop them it doesn't bother me. I've been in doing this for 30 plus years. I know that's how drummers are. I was like that. Heck, I'm probably still like that sometimes. But, you know, they're they're learning and they're they're developing that passion that we're looking for. And, you know, if I'm going to fuss at them every time they're trying to play, then they're not going to have fun. They're not going to want to be there. So, there is a method to my madness and you know, as we go along, we'll, we will discuss, hey, you know, when it's when it's time to go, it's time to go. When it's, when it's break time, then you can, can uh, you know, play well, whatever you want, and life will be good. So, um, if you hear them playing over top of me, don't worry. I'm not getting mad about it. I don't want you to get mad about it because, like I said, they're, they're learning, they're exploring, and they're having fun. I, at least I hope they're having fun. They look like they're having fun. And, um... Yeah, so let's see what episode three, part one of Building the Line has to offer us. Not bad, Addison. What do you got, Colton? Just play something. It's all good. All right. What do y'all remember from the past? Is it three three weeks? Three weeks. I wasn't, wasn't here last week. I wasn't here last week either. Addison, what'd you do last week? Learned. learned everything. Then why are you here if you learned everything already? What do you mean you don't know? Oh, okay. Yeah, Pew told me. Y'all went over all the stuff you may or may not encounter in drumland in the fall. Did you learn that last week or did you just make that up? That was good. That was good. Okay, so um, what's the one thing we have not talked about that is super important for drumming. What, well, yeah, don't do drugs. Thanks, Addison. Good, good quality, quality. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What? Oh, no, not subdivide. God, Addison, you're making my brain hurt already, and we've only been talking for like two minutes. Advice, that's the word I was looking for. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad, okay? 
Do you know who that was? I'm going to have to get caught up on how to make connections to children again because all the stuff I'm used to using. Do y'all watch Spongebob still? Is that still a thing? Yeah. Colton watches Spongebob? Do you I watch Spongebob? Watch Spongebob well, you don't watch... What do you watch? Basketball. Basketball? Oh, gosh. What about you, Addison? What are you making? We, we, cartoons, and sports. cartoons and sports. True or false? Marching band is a sport. True. True, yes. <laughs> Whether people believe it or not. Okay, stop getting me off topic. What have we not talked about that is super important to drumming? What do you do every single day of your life? Not counting. Live. Live. What is, what is one of the steps of living? Eating. Yeah, that is very important to drumming. Drummers love our food, but that's not what I'm looking for. Technically correct, but wrong. You're doing it right now. Talking. Not talking. Breathing! Yay! Addison got it. You get a cookie. I just start bringing cookies, so when y'all get cookies, you can actually get cookies. Breathing! Why is breathing important to drummers? Because if you don't, you die, yes. How can it be helpful in, in the aspect of music? How can breathing be helpful? What does everybody else in the band room have to do to play their instrument? They have to blow, right? They have to breathe, right? And they have to breathe at certain times, right? Right? We need to do that too. We can breathe whenever we want to, right? Because we don't have something stuck to our face. So we can breathe whenever we want to and then just laugh at everybody else because they're running out of breath. But one thing we need to learn is breathing together. So I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to give you three tries, and this is probably going to backfire on me because sometimes it does. All I want you to do, I'm going to count one, two, three, Four, and then I want you to hit. Okay? Just one hit after I count to four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Was that together? No. Addison went way early. All right, there's try one. Try number two. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, that was three hits, Colton, not one. Was it together? Kind of. It was more together, but we still had that butt up. What are you looking at, Sarah? Nothing. Don't tell mom. Okay. All right. Last try. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay. That was a double hit early, and that was no hits. Okay. This did not backfire on me. This worked perfectly. That's what I wanted to happen. Okay. Now, no hits this time. But I want you to breathe in when I say four and then out on the next one. So it'll be like this. One, two, three. Okay? In, out. Try it with me. We're going to do this three times as well. Ready? Here's try number one. One, two, three. Did it work? Did you breathe? Did you remember to breathe? Okay, good. One more time. One, two, three. Let me hear you breathe. I want to hear you breathe in and out. Make it creepy. I just hope everybody brushed their teeth today. I will smell like Cherry Coke because that's what I've been drinking. So I hope you all like Cherry. Not Cherry Coke. It's Cherry Pepsi. Sorry, Pepsi. I, this video is not endorsed by Pepsi. Have I told you all what I'm doing over here, by the way? You know. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? Gosh, I'm making a vlog about our little percussion world here. So I keep the camera pointed on me because you all are children and you're school children. And I don't think I'm allowed to have school children yet. But we're going to work on it. Anyways, last time, breathe in on four, out on one. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. 
Okay, now what we're going to do this time, we're going to breathe in together on four and we're going to play on one. Okay, with the breathing and the hits, we're going to put it all together. Okay, so it'll go like this. That's the wrong end of the stick. It'll go like this one, two, three. So when you breathe out, is when you're going to hit. Just like when we were counting a couple or three, seven, eighty-two weeks ago or whatever, you know, when you say it, when you play it. Say it when you breathe, okay? First try. One, two, three. Was that together? Was that more together than it has been? Yeah, let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three. Was that together, Mr. Pugh? I'm afraid I was distracted. Oh this my is, uh, goodness. It's okay, I have proof that it was. <laughs> All right, one more time. One more time. This is our time three. It's been good for the first two. One, two, three. Ooh, that was a little less together. Let's, let's redeem ourselves. We'll do it one more time. One more again. Uh, there's my favorite phrase. One of my, I have so many favorite phrases, like everything. Here we go. In on four, out and play on one. One, two, three. How was that? That was good. That was good. Yeah. You should have heard it without the breathing. Oh, really? Yeah. It was terrible, wasn't it? It's okay. He'll see the video, too. He'll be like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but okay something we do every single day and look at how much better it made us just on one note right so what we need to get in the habit of whether you're in class or when we get to, to band camp or whatever we happen to be doing get in the habit of breathing breathe with the band because before they start a song the band has to do the same thing <gasps> you know Hopefully they sound better than that, but they, I, they probably do, don't they? Please tell me they do. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. 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 Because they actually have instruments. But breathing is just as important to us, and there's going to be times like in the middle of songs where breathing could become important. Maybe you've sat out for a little while, and you're getting ready to come back in, and you watch Mr. Pugh, or you watch your drum major, or you watch me, and you breathe in. <gasps> And you guaranteed to stay together. Yeah? Cool how that works, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah? Do you want me to do more creepy dancing? Please stop. We, we don't like to see things like that. It's okay. You'll get used to me. I promise. Colton. Freestyle improv. Okay. Calm down, Addison. All right. So, you remember our eight on a hand? Okay, that's, that's the magic one. I remember that. Note to self. That makes them shut up. No. Shut up is not a nice word. Same on your tongue. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play eight on hand. And we're just going to do right hand first and then left hand. Okay? But what are we going to do before we start playing? We're going to breathe. Yes. Okay? So we're going to go like this. we we'll go one, two, three. Not that fast. Not that fast. Okay. I will count it off better. I will count it off better. 
I will give you one, three, and one, and two, and three, and breathe, and... I'm gonna add sound effects to it, that'll be even better. It'll be in a fighting game. Will that make you stop too? Alright, play it on hand, ready? One and two and ready and go. Oh, it worked! That's so cool. Okay, so now, in addition on which hand we got to play, how many notes we're going to play, we're thinking about when we're going to start. Now we've added breathing on top of it. How terrible is that? Swag. Colton, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You don't know. Swag. Mr. Hugh, do you know anything about swag? Swag? Yeah. I just, I just made a comment, and the response I got back was swag, and I don't know if it's good or bad. Is it good or bad, Addy? You don't know? I'm kind so, of like Addy. I'm, 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 I'm not quite sure if swag is good or bad. So you're telling me that you're saying words to me, and you don't know what they mean? What if it's... Huh? El Toro Loco? That's a restaurant, isn't it? The Crazy Bull. Crazy Bull. I mean, I, the color guard usually keeps me up to date on slang expressions, and I haven't talked to them in a while. You're a lucky man. <laughs> so I, I'm, I, I think swag sounds like it's good to me. I think. Swag sounds, I mean, it sounded good. It sounded positive when she said it. It's like swag. Swag. Should that be our catchphrase this year? Swag. 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 Swagalicious. <laughs> and now she's like, no, please don't. Oh, too far. Wait, don't, too far. don't butcher the word. We had a good thing going, and I went and ruined it. Uh -oh. Swaggy? Is that a different meaning, or is that just like the same thing? Same thing. Okay, so swag and swaggy are interchangeable. Wasn't that the guy with the dog and the mystery solver? I think so, yeah. Swaggy? Yeah. Something about a, a hairdo or something like that, the dog's name. Handing out stuff. Uh, swag. Thank you, sir. Rhythm chart number you one. Stop what you're doing. I'm just distributing. You can get out of here. Well, what's all this black on the page? What are all those? Do I have to do it like that every time now? Do I have to get Mr. Pew to learn how to do that? I would love to see him do that. You show up here wearing a hat mail one day. That's going to be really cool. You never know. <laughs> you don't really know what to expect from one day to the next. Okay, let's do our breathing one more time. Just hit one time together. Okay? Now that we're like randomly back on topic again, y'all distract me way too easy. Okay, just one hit. Breathe together, breathe in on what? Four, yay. And play on what? Okay, we had a one, we had a five, yeah. Technically both correct. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll give credit for that. All right, ready? Breathe in and just play once, ready? One and two and three and breathe and five. Yeah, good. Now, why do you keep switching your stakes, Addison? <laughs> what? True drummer here. True drummer. Like every time we're doing something new, different pair of sticks. Different pair of sticks. How many sticks you got? How many pair do you have in your bag? One, two, two pair, three pair. Yeah. Three pair. Okay. 
The car players are like that except they put the whole energy in there. Yeah, I'm mean, more guitars. Drummers usually get by by just getting the more sticks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can keep changing them, it doesn't bother me. You're fine. Well, you haven't used those yet. Why are you changing them out? <laughs> okay. Now, let's play one set of eighth notes. One set of eighth notes after we've written. How many is one set of eighth notes? 24? No, not 24. Not 16. Not 8. Not 17. Not 4. Not 19. Not 16. Not 12. 101? No, 101. I feel like maybe I should give them a clue or something. Maybe we're talking about Dalmatians now. Yeah. Yeah, no no more Dalmatians. But what is one full set of eighth notes? Two! How did you figure that out, Colton? My hand, right? I was holding it up to be blatantly obvious. All right, one set of eighth notes we count as one and. Okay? One and. Okay? So now instead of playing just one, we're going to play one and. one in. I thought you said she didn't like to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Put her on a set of tenors, she goes crazy. Oh, now we got stick flips. And almost drop. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Breathe in on four, and we're going to be counting one and two and three and four and one and. That's all we're going to do. One hand, two notes. Okay? Breathe in, and then play. Ready? One and two and three and one. Remember to breathe on what? Four. Four. Okay? I will, how about this? I will say one and two and three and breathe and play and. Okay? So we breathe in. And then play it end. All right, let's try it that way. One and two and three and breathe and play. Yeah. I think I'm going to get really tired of doing that really fast. Oh, it looks cool. It does. It's about the only thing I ever do that looks cool. Oh no, they've already decided they want to see you do it. Don't you? Martial arts days are over. Both of them. <laughs> All right, one more time. One more again. One and two and breathe in four. One and two and three and breathe in four. Okay? One and two and three and breathe and play. Not on a cymbal, on a drum, please. Appreciate your enthusiasm, but we're playing drums right now. <laughs> okay? Same thing, right? One and two and three and breathe and. Okay? Little quick. All right? Does breathing make sense? Do you know how to properly breathe now? You've been doing it wrong for the past. Ever how many years you've been around? 13? 13? How many years have you been in there? 13. 13 is a lucky number, isn't it? I think, I think so, too. All right. Cool. So, I'm not going to harp on breathing, but it is something that we're going to work on over and over and over again. And we'll, when we get our band camp music and ready to go rock and roll, we'll learn when to breathe, and when to play, and all will be right with the world. Definitely. And along those lines, what's actually work on right now? So, Whoa. if you look at that rhythm chart number one, and you thought we were done with this. <laughs> no, it, it's actually because it, 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 this all feeds in together. It's all interconnected. Okay, rhythm chart number one, we're just going to play the first four measures. Now, these are just whole notes, okay? Now, I know we do this first thing in the sixth grade. But if you'll put that breathing uh, exercise into practice that Tom was just teaching you, this is going to help you hit the target on target with each other. So, 
And we're still going to do it the same way. He was counting one and two and three and four and done. Okay, and we're going to do that each time there on each of those four strikes. You can use either hand. doesn't matter which hand you use. You can change drums. It's okay. As long as we hear that strike, da, right there. Okay? Just don't change to a cymbal. Right, right. Dead little stay on the drum. And one, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. And we're going to stop there because you did that very well. Excellent. Yes. Now, let's go to the second set here. This is uh, the next four measures. We're on half notes, okay? Now, the same process is going to apply here. We're just going to do it a little more frequently, okay? One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, okay? Let's try that. Here we go. One, and two, and ready, and go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and yeah, nicely done, nicely done. I can't tell you how many drum lines will not get that part right, okay? Because they don't subdivide and they don't breathe together like he's been working on with you. Subdivide. And getting those unison hits together is so tough and so critical, so nicely done. Now let's go to the next part. Now this is going to be a little bit different problem with the breathing. <coughs> Very different. But, but not on that first stroke, okay? Okay, so I'm going to count one and two and ready and go. You're going to breathe, and then we're going to hit four quarter notes in a row for four measures. In a row. On this one, if you would, let's do a four on a hand process. Let's do one, two, three, four, and switch. One, two, three, four. The next measure all on the right, okay, and then the next measure all on the left. We're only going to play the quarter note measures, so four quarter note measures. Here we go. One, two, and one and two and three. Ready and breathe. breathe. Good. Let's do that again. Nice. One and two and one, two. And ready and breathe. Go. Now, let's yeah. do something harder. We're going on to the eighth note measures, okay? And again, the initial strike, the first stroke, you still breathe into that stroke, okay? So, now this is pretty much eight on a hand. That's all it is. One and two and three and four and one and two. It's just written out, okay? Here we go. One and two and one and two and ready and breathe. Go. Just the way you did on the quarter notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. And Here we go. One, and two, and one, and two, and ready, and go. Oh man, I did it again. Left you guys on a cliffhanger. Yes, I did that on purpose. Um, Mr. Pew, they were, these kids were working really hard. And Mr. Pew's, I'm going to get you to these, but you're going to have to tune in next week to see what we were trying to build them up to. Um, and you can just continue listening to the progress and just having so much fun. And I'm loving working with these kids. I know Mr. Pugh is loving working with these kids. Hopefully these kids are loving working with us. And, uh, you know, it was kind of a bummer that we only had two. But, you know, doctor's appointments happen. This happens. That happens. It all have work happens. I think Rose was at work. So, you know, we just do what we do with who shows up. We don't dwell about, well, who's not there and blah, 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 blah. So they show up, they're going to learn something. And if they can't show up because of another another responsibility they have, we'll get them when they come back. And we'll hook them in. We'll reel them in. We'll hook them, set it, and we'll reel them in. And it'll be fun. And 
I know for a fact that these two guys are going to be talking to all their buddies and, oh man, I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least one of them, Noodle, is going to think this is all lit. And I think that's still a good thing, but I'm old and that I'm pretty sure it's still a good thing though. But anyways, tune in next week, Tuesday at 7 for part 2 of episode 3. You'll get to see what we've built them up to and we'll continue out this week, this fourth week of training. And um, yeah, we'll see how far we take these kids. Love y'all.